Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So I have to apologize up front. I look like poo today. Um, I woke up with the flu. Again, this is the second time this year. I had a hundred and some fever this morning and it's just been a rough day. But one of my viewers who is a very dear friend of mine reached out and said, hey, I want to send you a Christmas package. Would that be okay? And I said, well, of course it is. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to do that. And I don't never expect anything from anybody. But um, he did go ahead then and send me a Christmas package. It came in the mail today. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this open and take a look at it. Um, I did slice it already. I can't wait to show you guys what's inside. I've only taken a peek, but I have not unboxed everything. So stay tuned because it looks like there's some really fun things in here. So keeping with the spirit of Christmas, I have my Santa Mickey shirt on for this very uh, awesome video. Like I'm just, I'm humbled, I'm grateful. Um, James has become a very good friend of mine and he reached out and said, hey, I really wanna send you a Christmas care package, is that okay? And I'm like, of course, you don't have to, but of course, this box is huge, huge, huge. And right on the top, there's a bunch of styro or styrofoam bubble wrap. See, I told you, I don't feel good. <laughs> Um, but right on top is a Christmas card. So I do want to um, go with uh, over this first. So it does say Merry Christmas, Ian. I love that already. His is nice handwriting. Um, James, I met James a very long time ago. One of my very first subscribers. Um, and he's just become a very good friend. And uh, this just means the world to me. So I was really excited to get this in the mail. And this is a beautiful card. Holy smokes. Look at that. Look at all the glitter. Wow, that's a beautiful card. Merry Christmas to the kids and family. Hoping you have a truly Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for your true friendship, Ian. God bless y'all. A friendly Christmas greeting to wish you happiness in the special time of year of your friends, James and JT. Oh, this card is just gorgeous. So James and JT, thank you. I love beautiful Christmas cards. I love how it opens. That is just really, really cool. I've never quite seen a card like this, but I love, it's just, I mean, I can't get over it. It's all little snowflakes coming down and everything. So beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm humbled. <laughs> I'm humbled. I have some of the best friends and I'm thankful and grateful to call James one of them. And he is, I mean, Look in here, look at this guys. It's like packed full, <laughs> packed full. So I'm gonna start with some of the fun stuff here, some of the little goodies and tasties and such. We've got some cocoa, which is the best because I drink some coffee, but not a lot, but I do drink a lot of cocoa in the winter, cocoa and tea, so this is perfect. Plus my kids always wanna drink whatever daddy's drinking, so they'll be able to have some cocoa too. Um, it's from the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Now that sounds kind of familiar here. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look that up. But it does come with little cut, uh, packets of cocoa inside the box. I love the box alone, the box is gorgeous. Um, just a cute little Christmas theme. And then we've also got some butterscotch hard candies and an adorable Christmas theme too there with Frosty on the front. So uh, these will be so tasty too and I start to feel a little bit better here. But uh, just an adorable box there too. We do have some dark roast premium coffee, so that'll be fun here. Um, I have some gingerbread creamer. I did grab that the other day because it just sounded good. <laughs> so I'll be using that with this. So much fun. Um, there's, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. The, um, like I said, it was to the kids and family, so I'm sure that these are, are just, my kids are gonna love these. We got Santa and Frosty Christmas Pez along with the candy in there. They love Pez. We've got quite the collection of Pez, but we don't have these two, surprisingly enough. So yeah, those will be a lot of fun to put with those. I just, I keep pulling out something and then there's something else below it. So we've got, oh, ooh, I love, whoa, sweet cinnamon. Oh, we talked about these, that's right. Oh, James, you're hilarious because we actually could not find them up here. These are the brand new Kit Kat seasonal, of course, and they are the sweet cinnamon flavored ones. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, because we looked at our local stores. No one has them up here. So I wonder if it's just a Southern thing or if maybe they just haven't made it up this far. Kit Kats are my favorite and sweet cinnamon just sounds amazing. James and I actually talked about those. He's like, have you seen these yet? And I'm like, no. Well, now I know why he asked that <laughs> because there's a bag of them in my box. Thank you. I will definitely let you know what I think of these once I start to feel a bit better and can stomach some candy. You guys, I'm not even done. There's still a ton in here. So these, ooh, ooh, okay, oh, cool. Okay, I have never seen these before in my life, but they are the coolest thing ever. So I'm gonna show you the, oh, I just dropped it. I'm gonna show you the back first because it shows you all the characters you can get. So these are mini figure world and they're all Disney characters, but James, who knows me so well, 
sent me Cinderella, who was one of my top three, and it comes with Susie the Mouse there. So it's like Cinderella in a little um, pose there, looking, oh, that's so cool. I've never seen these before. James, you're gonna let me know where you found these at because this is awesome. The face paint's phenomenal on these. I love these, I love these things, but I love fun little collectibles like this too. So that is really awesome. There's another one and, the, oh, 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 this one's my favorite. Mm, it's Snow White. So if you guys have followed me for any length of time, you'll know Snow White is near and dear to my heart and James knows this. Um, yep, James knows me well. So this is Snow White and a Forest Friend and I absolutely love this. It's so cute. Um, I'm gonna have to find these things because there's so many of them. There's Stitch and Boo and Mike Wazowski and Chicken Little and Pooh and Mickey and Donald and Minnie and oh my gosh, there's just so many of these things. I'm gonna have to find these. I wonder if they, I wonder if, they, I've never seen them around here. So definitely James, let me know where you found these at because I'm like very curious now. Um, I might have to start a new collection, <laughs> I tell ya. So there is still more stuff in here. Ooh, ooh oh. Oh, now these look old. These look very old. Okay, so it's a bag, and in this bag is what appears to be a bunch of old McDonald's toys. But these are wicked cool. So, okay. <laughs> I love it. You know, like I said, he knows me so well. He knows I love Snow White. And these are old McDonald's toys. So there's Snow White. There's one of the uh, dwarves, and he's in this little uh, mining cart full of gems, but he pops up whenever you roll the wheel at the bottom. We've got another, these things, I don't, these are old. Um, does he even say on here? Yeah, it just says Disney China. So these are, uh, these are awesome. We've got the Wicked Witch. We've got her as the Evil Queen. We've got another Evil Queen and Wicked Witch, depending on which way you have her. I have not seen these before. These must be from his own personal collection or something? James, golly darn. Oh, oh, this one's not even opened. This is Maleficent, how cool is this? Yeah, this is a very old McDonald's toy because they don't even make the packs like this anymore. <laughs> so this is, oh, this is so cool. From Sleeping Beauty, of course. So I'm gonna have to find out when they, 1996. I was 13. Yep, I was 13. It says right there, McDonald's, 1996, right there. Wow, these are some awesome old McDonald's toys. Really cool, James, thank you. You have no idea like the nostalgia that this brings to me because I'm sure you remember me talking about how I found my old McDonald's aerial toys and how much those mean to me. And you know how much um, Snow White means to me. So having these is just amazing. You have no idea, I just keep looking at them. They are so cool. And I love having things from my childhood. I never even had these. So I am beyond grateful. I just, I love it, Snow White. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, she's so cool. Grateful, beyond reason. You have no idea, you have no idea. Like I am just, I am thrown back by what's in this box. There's still more, oh cool. <laughs> <laughs> he knows me too well. So there's a little baggie here and it has two Funko Pops in it. And how cool are these? It is the original Snow White and then an Ariel with a glitter tail. I think these are adorable. She's got a little glitter on her and everything. So cute. These must be older ones. I don't think I've seen them look like this for quite some time. So yeah, Snow White and Ariel, two of my absolute favorite princesses. You have no clue. Well, actually, if you guys watch my channel, you know how much these are. Uh, these mean to me. I love them so much. I do not have Ariel in this form at all. I have the new one, um, but I like this one so much better because she's got a glitter tail and Snow White's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Y'all, I'm, I'm still not done. There's still more in here. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah, these are so cute. So now there's a little bag full of frozen ornaments, which my daughter's gonna die. Oh my goodness. So we've got Elsa, <laughs> super cute. I love these ones. I've seen these, I believe at the Walmart near me. Um, and my daughter has the Ariel one, and I think she's got a Cinderella one, and I keep meaning to buy the frozen ones, but every time I go back, they're gone. So I'm like, <laughs> This is perfect. There's a little Anna. These are so cute. There's a Sven, who's adorable. Look at that. 
so so adorable and then there's the santa olaf and he is probably my favorite one and my daughter is gonna die because she's gonna want to put these on her tree so the i am like overwhelmed there's so many amazing things i like i'm looking down and it's all just spread out in front of me i am beyond grateful so so generous james you and jt went above and beyond you have no idea um it looks like there is just oh oh Oh, I missed a couple. They must have fallen out. So we've got <laughs> we've got Smee from Peter Pan. And I'm not sure what goes on here, but it looks kind of cool. There's like a, a, a red part. This was in the bag with the Snow White toys. So I'm not sure what he does, but he's awesome. And I love Peter Pan. And then we also have Doc, <laughs> who's looking great. I love Snow White. I love Snow White. So this looks to be like a two-part thing here. And I think I know what it is. Oh, I know what this is. So, oh, oh, I love it. I love it, 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 I love it. This is the coolest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I actually do not have this one. I don't, and I am ecstatic right at the moment. Oh man, I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> I'm so excited, like, my stomach hurts. It is Experiment 626, and it's a coffee mug, but it's a lid, and I, adore, I'm like shaking. Can you hear it? This is like shaking. I adore this mug. Well, I know what I'm going to be using for my hot cocoa and my coffee. This is so cool. I have never seen this mug before. I love it. Stitch is my spirit animal. That's why, like, if you are watching on a mobile device and you turn it sideways, Stitch is the little uh, subscribe icon. I love Stitch. I, I absolutely love Stitch. Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorite Disney movies outside of the princess realm. And this mug is awesome. Oh, it's so cool. It is so, so cool. I have literally never seen this mug before. I, y'all, I'm still not done. I've got one more thing and I am just sitting here going, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. I can't even, I know what this one is. James actually talked about this. And he said he was gonna send her to me. So he has one of the most amazing collections. He has everything Disney. He's got like She-Ra stuff. He's got Star Trek. I think that's JT's main collection. He's, I mean, Batman, all kinds of stuff. I mean, just hot toys, you name it, James has it. And um, he showed me a shelf once of, of his Cinderella collection. And I said, holy smokes, that doll is gorgeous. Where is it from? And he's like, oh, it's an old Disney classic store doll. He goes, I think I have another one. I'll send it to you someday. Someday is today. And I can't. <laughs> oh my golly. Oh my golly. I'm already seeing little details of her and I... Wow, 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 wow. Okay, she's beautiful. For being a classic doll, as you guys know, I mean, they, they do a pretty decent detail in a classic doll, but I don't think they do it quite like they used to. Look at this bride, Cinderella. She is so stunning, absolutely beautiful. Um, I'd never seen her before. And when he was like, oh yeah, it's just an old Disney classic doll. Um, I was like, oh, okay. I've never seen anything quite like it. And I cannot, she's gorgeous. Looks like she's straight out of the 1950s, doesn't she? So beautiful, look at the rosettes. She's got a little corsage on there. This um, oh, is just gorgeous. I feel like I just saw a doll with something very similar. Oh yeah, Tiana. Tiana's got this similar um, like back and forth pattern on her. Um, just gorgeous, I love the bow. She's, I mean, she's articulated as being a classic doll. She's got, you know, full articulation. She does have the bend and pop knees. She's got a little uh, glass slippers on there. But yeah, her, she's got the bend and pop knees there. Um, her head, of course, moves. She's got little blue earrings in. She's got her veil. Her hair is all done up really nicely. Wow. Like, I wish they made Disney Store dolls like this still, because they don't. Like, the new wedding sets are nowhere near as nice as this, and this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I am, I am shocked right now. I love this. I absolutely, absolutely love this classic doll. James, thank you. JT, thank you. Your guys' friendship means the world to me. I am beyond grateful. I am 
overwhelmed with your generosity. I am looking down at everything and just thinking, I don't deserve any of this. I, I really don't. I don't. I am floored and humbled and grateful. So thank you so much, James and JT. You guys are the best. I've got something coming your way. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I had a lot of fun packing a box for you guys too. Um, it was just a blast for me to pick up some fun things that I know you guys are going to enjoy and uh, I can't wait for it to get to you. So let me know when it does. I am just for not feeling very well today, this definitely, I mean, it doesn't look like it because <laughs> I've got dark circles in a mess, but this definitely brightened my day. I cannot, I cannot express my gratitude enough. So James and JT, again, thank you so very much. Merry Christmas. I am beyond grateful for your friendship and your generosity, but it just, again, I am, I am humbled. <laughs> I'm so humbled. I am floored and I am just, I can't even, I can't, <laughs> I just can't. So thank you again. I love everything, but more than anything, I treasure your friendship and that's what means the most. So alrighty guys, well, thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up if you did. Comments down below. I just, I am still just kind of in shock of everything I'm looking at. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even. So I hope you're having a very, very magical day. I hope you guys all have a very blessed holiday season and we will see you real soon.